Back here inside signing day, joined now by defensive line coach Nookie Brechterfield. Coach, thank you so much for, for taking a minute. You know, we no all problem. know we've had Coach Rudolph on already. You know, I think everyone who follows Wisconsin knows what the identity of this offensive line. They know what it's trying to achieve. How about over on your side? What are you trying to create over there? You know, we want to be physical. Yeah. We want to be guys that run to the ball. Um, you know, our job is to, you know, be physical is the main thing. Uh, you know, be, be able to knock guys back, get off blocks and fly. So that's the number one thing we talk about in our room is being able to out physical the opponent. So, I mean, I want them to see a physical bunch up front and guys that fly around. When you're coaching that to your players, I mean, there's a lot of that obviously is, is physical, but there's, there's a want to there that you need when you're not only talking to who you have now, but who you're recruiting, right? Yeah, you know, I think, um, you know, they, they adapt real quick. Um, they understand what's the expectation. You know, the standard, the, the saying is a standard is a standard. And guys um, know what the standard is and, and what my expectations are. And, and these guys go out there and try to do it every day. And um, the want to comes with, you know, everyday grind, you know, so. Let's talk about Garrett Rand for a minute. Uh, not knowing until a couple of days ago exactly what was going to happen. I think around 9.30 today is when his letter came in. He's been pegged as someone who's maybe the most ready to play. How do you transition a recruit like that into the college game? You know, he, um, like physically, he's, he's coming uh, as the most ready to go. I think um, that's the first and foremost thing is physically he's going to be ready to go. And if you get to know Garrett mentally, he's on a different level. You know, I think he's... Um, done a great job getting his body ready. Um, and when you talk to him, he's all about football. I mean, he loves to work out, he loves to play, he loves the game, and, and he'll have a chance to come in, along with the rest of them, but I think he'll have a chance to, to fight for some playing time, no doubt. Is, is the fact that he, physically he is ready, and it's maybe it's when you're coaching him, it's you know, get the ball carrier, go get the quarterback. So you're teaching him how to go one-on-one -on -one a lot to get that job done. <clears throat> you know, it's more, um, for me, it's more fundamentally based to start. Okay. Make sure they're, they understand what their job is and how to execute it. And then from there, it, get to the ball. You know, it's going to be more um, catching up to the college. You know, you're, you're amongst uh, better players. So technique and fundamentals is going to be key, no matter how strong or how, you know, weak you are, but it's going to be key for him to catch it fundamentally, and that's my job to get him right, and he's, he'll go, you know. You seem excited. I am. Yeah. I'm excited about everybody. I'm excited about the whole group. Yeah. You know, but he is definitely, um, you know, and we were, we've been um, solid with him, and he, we were, we were, we were um, there was no surprise he signed with us. I mean, you know, um, this whole buildup and everything, but we're excited about him. Good. Isaiah Loudermilk plays eight-man ball mm -hmm. in Kansas. How do you find someone like that? And you know, we, we put his film on, and uh, the number one thing you see is a big athletic guy. Um, you know, it, it doesn't matter the competition or eight man, two man, five man. It don't matter. You know, when you see a big guy moving like that and the way he moves, it's uh, it was a no brainer for me and the staff. And um, you know, Coach uh, Gilmer did a great job with him, and and he got a chance to get on campus. And you know, he's um, you know, I look at him as a piece of clay and get a chance to mold him and. And, and get him up to speed with big time ball. So I'm excited about him. So you get to start that with spring practice. You got a lot of guys in your room too, have a lot of snaps. How do you put this thing together looking towards next year with spring practice? You know, we had a lot of guys that played a lot of snaps this year. So yeah. uh, really bringing them along and, and, and taking the next step with them. And then, you know, the, the next guys up, the guys that, uh, in the Billy Hirsch fields and the, to try to get Zan. Well, Zan is going to miss spring ball, but Billy and, and Patterson and those other guys that were in the fold. Uh, have them take the next step, and the guys that were playing a lot, you know, really just try to cut it loose more this this spring. But you know, I'm excited about spring ball, and you know, Keldrick Preston's in the fold, and Hegeman T's in the fold, so um, it'll be fun, you know, with the young guys coming up and the young guys coming in. So nothing but excitement. Not it only, is. It not is. only for who it's you good. got, but no the doubt. entire group coming up, Coach. No doubt. Thank you so much for your time. Coming up on a little bit halfway home here on Inside Signing Day, but still plenty left. So please stay with us. We'll be right back.